Thousands of dollars gone on a time-honored family tradition canceled. One Splendora family reached out to KPRC2 investigator Amy Davis for some help when they discovered the party venue they planned to hold at Quinceanera closed down. Amy Davis, what's going on? Yeah, I mean, completely unexpected. Many families start planning years in advance for their daughter's big quinceanera celebration from finding a location, arranging caters, even choreographing a special dance. It is a big production. But for one family, it has just been a big disappointment. This is Desiree's dress. Desiree just got this beautiful dress is now just a reminder of a party that's not happening. And it's very disappointing that I'm going to have to disappoint her again. It's very hard. COVID canceled quinceanera plans last year for Desiree Shavira. The family adjusted. We went ahead and redid everything for the following year of December 4th, 2021, Sweet 16. The party was booked and paid for in full at the Overlook in Humble. We paid a total of 7000 It was supposed to be paid in full a couple of months in advance. When mom Erica started having trouble reaching anyone at the venue, she drove by. We saw that the location is going under renovations. And the office where we sat and signed everything and talked to someone about Everything was empty, and that's whenever we started to feel the, the dread. It was closed. Erica discovered on social media the Overlook now has a new name and new owners. Hidden Pines Lake Houston is now owned by Walters Wedding Estates, a company that runs 25 other wedding venue locations around Texas. And I've never been in this situation where someone just basically run off, ran off with my money. An attorney from Walters Wedding Estates told KPRC2 to Investigates it bought the property from the bank who had foreclosed on the Overlook. Walter's wedding estate says they don't have to honor the old contracts, and legally, she's right. It sounds like the business, which is its own separate entity, has folded. And since that entity has folded and a new business has purchased possibly just the assets of that old business, that doesn't mean that they assume any of the previous liabilities as well. We also know the previous owners of the Overlook, KSAN LLC, were sued last year by Umbel ISD for back taxes, $59,000. But in May 2020, federalpay.org shows KSAN LLC got $44,000 from a COVID-related PPP loan. No word on where that money went since KSAN no longer owns this property. I know that they bought this company and they feel that they don't have any obligation to me, but the I am a client of the company, you know, and it, I'm just very disappointed in all of it. Well, Walter's Wedding Estates did finally offer Erica a discount on another property it owns. The price, $10,000, and that doesn't include the $7,000 she already spent with the Overlook. The attorney we spoke to says Erica could take the previous owners to small claims court, but even then it might be tough to get them to pay out considering they already owe $60,000 in back taxes. On Click to Houston, we've posted some steps you can take to protect your money if you plan on booking an event. Gosh, you feel for that family. Yeah. They may never see a dime of this. Right. I mean, and so she's like, rebook. I mean, rebook. Right. Yeah. The Where's invitations have gone out and everything. So yeah. long to save up that money and all the work and just gone in a flash. Right. Man, that's awful. Hope she gets something back from that. Amy, thank you.